Hey boys, welcome back to some Steve Smith career mode and we are playing in the Ashes. The Ashes is upon us over in England and um, yeah, on the game obviously it's not actually called the Ashes because the England side of things is not fully licensed, um, but it is the Ashes on the game. <laughs> um, I did end up simulating as we see David Warner and Cameron Bancroft are all back, as well as myself, Stephen Smith, and uh, other than that, it's pretty, a pretty strong lineup, you know, not, uh, I mean, Ben McDermott's a bit of a interesting selection, but you do have to remember this is a couple of years into the actual game's career mode, um, obviously I simulated through till this year, so there's always going to be a few, a few different selections, but uh, overall it's a pretty... It's a pretty, you know, standard Australian lineup. Um, Hans comes there. Sean Marsh is still there. As uh, we come out to bat here with a very healthy average, 57. And we're off to a good start, although a couple of wickets in succession. Myself and McDermott, new to the crease, as uh, Craig Overton trundles his way in um, after picking up the first wicket of his over. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be. Um, I'm keen for this uh, for this series, dude. Is uh, good good leaves, you know. Just, just just smart batting at the minute, you know. Those balls on and around off stump on a good length, you know. It's it's handy to leave them early on as uh, just a little bit of shape, a little bit off the pitch. Craig Overton, he's a very tall, very tall man. He's not uh, the fastest bowler, but he can definitely extract some extra bounce out of a pitch. So. You know, don't want to be uh, going too hard early. That's a beautiful shot, though. Just slightly, slightly fuller and uh, just freeing the arms. We had to look at a replay just for the elegance of the shot. And, uh, yeah, it's good to be it's good to be playing in the series, dude. It's obviously a little bit away in real life, but I was keen to get into it. I talked about it in the last video that I was potentially going to simulate through to the Ashes. Um... And I ended up doing it. There was, you know, there was a, there was a few, there was a few T20s and other sort of. I think it was like the Caribbean T20 league was on, and uh, probably a couple other, you know, smaller internationals. But uh, yeah, I wanted mainly to get into uh, this Ashes campaign, and uh, it's going to be good fun. I'm looking forward to it because we've come in with some pretty good form, obviously. Played a few shorter format games, you know, reminiscent of uh, Smith in real life. He's mainly been playing T20s. Um, and now the opportunity, you know, a couple of games in uh, county cricket. Had some decent form, you know, couldn't quite, probably the only issue at the moment, we couldn't quite get the, the big score away, but uh, we were looking in good touch. So uh, the form, you know, the form is holding up. Is uh, Overton here. For some reason, he's going around the wicket. I sort of thought that over the wicket line on and around off stump was a pretty pretty dangerous line with the extra bounce he was getting and a little bit of a little bit of jag off the pitch away, a little bit of swing occasionally, so yeah, I don't really know why he's going around the wicket. Um you know, Smith is a batter that you do have to sometimes mix it up as that's a beautiful shot. Just that angle, um, too full, just into the slot as uh, they change the field. They <laughs> straight away put a man basically where I hit that ball. So, you know, a little bit of uh, reactive captaining right there. As uh, that one, a thick inside edge, we're going to pick up a single. So myself, McDermott, steadying the ship after a, a very good opening stand. But then, like I said, you know, a couple of wickets. You know, you don't really want your openers to get out in succession like that. It, uh, put, it puts pressure on uh, the middle order for sure. But uh, yeah, myself, McDermott, both uh, both playing nicely and freely. 14 off 13, a couple of boundaries in that. We've, uh, look at that, beautiful defense. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, trying to get in the, the habit of being a little bit more speculative. Speculative <laughs> of, uh, you know, those, those good length deliveries. You know, don't be afraid to just block a few out. Wait for the... Wait for the ones like that on the pads. We can just flick away for an easy... Could have picked up two, but uh, probably, you know, the safe option. Just uh, take the single and, uh, you know, rotate the strike 
And that's what we've done really well this partnership. 17 off 17, and McDermott is 14 off 16. So, yeah, really good as this one has jagged back from Wokes. They don't appeal. <laughs> I mean, the height was probably the issue, but boy, oh boy, surely you'd be going up for that one. That, that was that was very strange. But uh, Chris Wokes, he can uh, he can get it cranked up, and uh, with the pace modifier up, he uh, he's pretty tough to handle it at times. He's probably the quickest, you know, in real life he's not necessarily the quickest England bowler, but on the game here he's very, very quick. He can get up to 150 and it's, uh, it's like lightning, dude. It can go through quick because I've got, I don't know exactly, he's just one again straight on the pad. I, I must have hit it. I must have got an inside edge because again, that looked pretty straight, but that didn't appeal. So, you know, England, they're not, they're playing the gentleman's game at the moment. <laughs> Anything they don't think is out, they're not even they're not even raising an eyebrow for. They're you know respecting <laughs> they're respecting the uh, the deliveries. I guess um, a little strange, but we'll uh, we'll take a dude as uh, yeah Moe and Ali. We're, uh, we're having a little bit of trouble. Probably you know again just just play patient. We're eighteen off twenty two. There's no rush. It's uh it's a test match here. We can just uh, we can just wait for those deliveries like that again. Just hitting it on the pad. Just uh. The timing is off at the minute. We're playing the pace as well, but uh, as soon as the spin comes in, sort of gets a little bit, a little bit risky, a little bit more timing based. There we go, just sort of work it away into the big leg side gap and uh, picking up a fairly comfortable two. It's a good throw from the deep, but uh, at the end they're getting home pretty safely. So um, yeah, this is a pretty pretty healthy partnership is it's a big partnership in this series because obviously you want to get first innings of the first test match of the ashes you want to get the confidence up as uh that is a belting shot chris wokes there just over pitching probably going for a little bit too much you know trying to get the wicket fighting for it but uh just a little bit full and uh that is just elegant from smith that is bread and butter type stuff as uh, we move on to 25. But yeah, the first, going into bat, the first test match, you want to set the whole series up. As that's a, it's a good leave. <laughs> it did come back a little bit. So a little bit risky, but you know, we're, we're, we're playing nicely around that off stump. We're not really going for those ones out that side as uh, that is a, <laughs> that is raced. That is absolutely raced off the outside edge bit of a risky shot trying to play back through the covers or point to uh to a quick delivery and it is just absolutely raced off the edge as uh wokes he overcompensates once again just just pushing for that wicket it hasn't been a bad over just a couple you know a couple of deliveries just over pitched he had a chance you know not go down but it, it was a chance that went through a gully as uh this one we uh we leave on the uh outside off stump which is probably the safer option but if i can get back to the train of thought we uh yeah getting off to a great start here sets the whole series up if um if we <laughs> we just collect that right on the uh forearm i think good lord that's a bit of a nasty blow um but yeah, if we uh, we capitulate early, you know, it's not good signs, and uh, it brings the whole confidence of the team down. England will be cock a hoot as uh, they go upstairs. It's a direct hit. Where, uh, geez, he did push hard, but it didn't really outstretch the arm too much there. Thankfully, we aren't going to be out. That was a little bit. It was a little bit tight. A little bit too tight uh, for comfort, but thankfully. Thankfully, we got home at the end there. This one, again, thickish inside edge. So, a little, a few false shots here and there, but so overall, I feel pretty good. I feel in good touch out in the middle. But, um, yeah, like I was saying, if, uh, you know, if you, if you fold early, you know, England will be up and about. The confidence for the batters will be low, but if you can, if you can set the benchmark early, get a big score first day, um, you know, the boy, the boys will feel like they're in the in the game, and then they'll feel they're in the series. Especially if you can get that first, if you can get the first match won over in England of uh, of an Ashes campaign. It goes, it, you know, without saying, it obviously goes a long way to winning the series. But 
just the confidence that it uh, provides as uh, Stuart Broad here comes in and uh, very well left. Again, that, that one is a very risky, like, it's just a ball, like, it, it's it's going away quite sharply. I don't know if they're genuine leg cutters, but, um, yeah, easily could be edged. This one is quick, and uh, I actually got an inside edge. Thankfully, it was a bump ball, so, um, you know, it yorked us, basically. As a uh, end of session there, good uh, good stand, myself and uh, Benny McDermott. Really good partnership here, both on basically the same score off the same ball. So it's been a it's been a healthy, good rotating of the strike, um, putting away the bad balls just like that. That is a beautiful shot off the pads, flicking it away. You know anything that's been anything that's been full basically. We've we've been able to work for runs. The short deliveries have put a you know a little bit of trouble, and uh, these good length deliveries just let them go. You know early day. The pitch is obviously pretty flat, pretty rock hard, so it's, it's got good carry, so we can let those balls go straight over the stumps. Even when they jag back like that, it's uh, it's a good idea to let them go. Unfortunately, can you believe it? We're going to get our caught and bowled. Oh, no. <laughs> that is just... Oh, I could not believe it. This is definitely one thing I hope they can sort of sort out <laughs> in the next game that went back like a tracer bullet shoey broad has just put the big right duke out and uh snaggled it so yeah good partnership comes to an end mcdermott and now hanscom at the crease hopefully you guys you know stick around for the rest of the series it's uh, it's going to be a good one we'll uh, come back for the second innings in the next video thought i'd split them up and uh yeah hopefully you guys are enjoying the series make sure to like and i'll see you in the next one